Welcome to Healthy Living, everyone. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of fat loss, breaking it down in a way that's easy to understand and backed by science. Let's start by exploring the two main types of fat in our bodies. Subcutaneous fat, which sits right under our skin and can be pinched, and visceral fat, which surrounds our organs deep inside our belly. While we might obsess over subcutaneous fat when we look in the mirror, it's actually visceral fat that poses a greater health risk. Recent research has shown that excess visceral fat significantly increases our chances of developing heart disease and diabetes, mainly because it releases substances that can cause inflammation throughout our body. Now let's unravel the mystery of how our body actually burns fat. Picture fat cells as tiny storage containers holding triglycerides. When our body needs energy, it essentially breaks open these containers and releases the fat in a process called lipolysis. It's like a well-orchestrated delivery service for energy. Our body releases hormones that act as keys, unlocking an enzyme in our fat cells. This enzyme then breaks down the triglycerides into smaller fatty acids, which travel through our bloodstream to parts of the body craving energy. Here's an interesting tidbit. Fatty acids don't mix well with blood, which is mostly water. So our clever bodies use a special protein called albumin to carry the fatty acids around. Think of albumin as a taxi service for these fatty acid passengers. When they reach their destination, say, a muscle cell during your workout, they enter the cell's mitochondria, often called the powerhouse of the cell. These mitochondria are like tiny power plants, converting fatty acids into usable energy. You might wonder, if fat provides energy, why don't we just use it all the time? Well, while fat does offer a substantial energy source, it takes longer for our body to break it down compared to carbohydrates. It's similar to starting a fire with large logs versus small twigs. The logs fat burn longer, but the twigs carbs catch fire much faster. Let's debunk a common fitness myth, spot reduction. Many people believe you can lose fat in specific areas by targeting those body parts with exercise, like doing countless crunches to shed belly fat. However, science tells us this simply doesn't work. Our bodies lose fat all over, not just in one particular spot. It's more about overall fat loss than trying to slim down one specific area. So what's the most effective way to lose fat? You've probably heard about the fat burning zone, exercising at a low intensity to burn more fat. But here's the kicker. While low intensity exercise does burn a higher percentage of fat, high intensity exercise burns more calories overall, potentially leading to greater fat loss in the long run. In fact, recent studies have shown that high-intensity interval training HIT, where you do short bursts of intense exercise, can be incredibly effective for fat loss. But don't worry if high-intensity workouts aren't your thing. Regular, moderate exercise is still fantastic for your overall health. Don't overlook the power of lifting weights. Research has shown that resistance training can boost your metabolism, helping you burn more calories even when you're not exercising. This is because having more muscle increases your body's energy demands, even at rest. When it comes to losing fat, what you eat plays a crucial role. The key is creating a calorie deficit, eating fewer calories than your body uses. Studies suggest that a moderate reduction of about 500 to 750 calories per day leads to steady, sustainable weight loss. But it's not just about quantity quality matters too. Increasing your protein intake can help you feel fuller and maintain muscle mass while you're losing fat. Lastly, never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Recent research has found that insufficient sleep can lead to increased appetite and weight gain. So prioritizing quality sleep is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of any fat loss journey. Remember, everyone's body is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. The key is to find healthy habits you can maintain long-term. This isn't just about losing fat. It's about embracing a healthier, more vibrant life overall. Thanks for tuning into Healthy Living. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Got questions? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Here's to your health and happiness.